picked this uh, Excello 602 mill at an auction a couple weeks back. Uh, kind of going through it, repairing a few things. I found there's not a whole lot of information on some of the things for repairing of these mills. Now I've got the head and everything already apart, but I'll kind of show you how I'm going to put the belt back on and which belt I use because seems to be a lot of conflicting information without much pictures or anything else as to how to work on these things so maybe this will help somebody else out in the future but as you can see the uh, belt is uh, rubbish so we got a new belt I've already got everything cleaned up and try to get this thing put back together here's the motor side of the mill I've already got everything cleaned up there's a whole lot of uh, gunk off in here and everything but probably the biggest thing is how do you get this to pull in and get the belt on and get it all back together but hopefully we'll be figuring this out here in a few minutes and we'll get this thing back together and see how the mill actually runs. Excello's manual actually tells you to stick a block of wood in here before you pull it off to, I guess, basically just to, to keep this thing wedged apart so it doesn't pull in on you. But when the belt breaks, there really wasn't a way to get a block of wood in there. So I decided to use this three jaw puller, pulled it back really easy. I think I should be able to put the belt down in there, and if I'm looking at it correctly, the belt should hold it apart so that we can get it assembled. So there's a bit of conflicting information as far as which manual you look at as to what belt is supposed to go in here. So the machine I have is a two horsepower variable speed, which I've seen things of both belts be in the right number, but I'm gonna put this one in because I've seen a few more posts of people saying that this uh, 2322V364 is the correct number. And it's a little bit thicker than this other belt, so I'm assuming maybe it's a little heavier duty for the extra horsepower, but we'll see. As you can see, I got the belt put in here. Uh, the belt is holding this pulley separated out like this, so that's working pretty good. And I think that this should be a proper way to, to put this back together. We'll find out here in a minute. Tried to do this without the block of wood hammered in there. Uh, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, once you start turning this pulley, the belt starts sliding on it and it starts getting smaller. So anyway, put a little block of wood in there. Seems to be holding it pretty good. I'm gonna try to put this back together now. After a few trial and error, I was finally able to get the motor sitting back on with the belt in there. Everything's looking pretty correct. I've still got to get that block of wood out, so we'll deal with that here in a minute. But first look at the belt, looks like it's gonna be okay. Uh, what I did have to do was this is separate from the motor and separate from the mill. So go on and put the belt on this pulley here, bolt this guy up here, and that'll give you enough room to come back in with the motor with the pulley open, slip it around the belt, and then get everything bolted back on. Not an easy task. I'd definitely recommend getting some help if you got somebody that could help you, but I was able to do it by myself, just made it a little bit harder. Got the belt back in the machine. Everything seems to be working really well. I do notice there's a little bit of noise once you start getting the higher end of the variable speed. I think it's the belt, but I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit deeper. Everything seems to operate very smoothly though. I think we got a winner. <laughs> 